everyone my name is kamini singh and this is my youtube channel that is facilitate to educate where i am going to help you in your learning process to begin with we are going to start with the preparation of nta ugc net especially for paper 2 of environmental sciences which will also help you in paper 1 that is the section of people development and environment so this is the topic that we are going to start talking about the national ambient air quality standards this topic is very important for almost all the competitive exams that you might be giving uh, the net examination for both for paper 1 and for paper 2 this is an important topic so let us start first let us see the general uh, characteristics and general things about the national ambient air quality standards first of all let us see that what does the short form of uh, national ambient air quality is so the short form is naaqs because the question may be asked in this form as well so you need to know the short form as well as the full form now we need to know that what does it mean by ambient air quality so the ambient air quality refers to the condition or quality of the outdoor air here we are taking in, taking in consideration particularly the outdoor air and we are setting the standards for that who is setting the standard and which are the pollutants that need to be uh, the standards need to be set are these this is with reference to the various identify pollutant notified by the cpcb that is central pollution control board under the air act 1981 so all the pollutants air pollutants that were mentioned in the air act 1981 that are notified by the cpcb the standards of those air uh, pollutants are only taken into consideration we only talk about those 12 air pollutants next is the air act 1981 empowers central pollution control board to set standards for quality of air so who is setting up the standards the standards are set up by the central pollution control board also current naaqs were identified by cpcb in the year 2009 so uh, there were many years or many times when the uh, naaqs were identified but the last about which we will be talking in this video are notified by the cpcb in the year 2009 so latest have been defined in the year 2009 also cpcb has set the standards for 12 gases as i have already told you that there are particularly 12 air pollutants that we have defined and we have uh, set standards for so there are 12 gases that we have set standards for that you need to remember now we'll talk about all uh, the objectives of naaqs why are we even setting up the standards and why are we wasting our energy and time in it so the first objective of naaqs is to indicate necessary air quality levels and appropriate margins required to ensure the protection of vegetation health and property so we are concerned with all of these the protection of vegetation health and property and there need to be uh, setting up of all the air pollutants that how much can there be the air pollutant in the environment what is the threshold so we are setting up that secondly to provide a uniform yardstick for the assessment of air quality at the national level so we need to or we require the assessment of air quality at the national level different states may set up different uh, air quality indexes and that may uh, not be a fruitful thing but it is set on the national level so the assessment of air quality is now much standardized last is to indicate the extent of and need of monitoring processes so for all of these objectives naaqs uh, is important also there are certain minor uh, objectives but these are the three major objective of naaqs now we'll see and talk about all the gases and the standards that are set up for them so looking at this table you need to take uh, care of two three things firstly the area one is the area of industries residential area rural area and the other areas are included in the area number one second are the ecologically sensitive areas that are set up by the cpcb the list is given by the cpcb that is central pollution control board now here is the time weighed average that is uh, there is a particular time period for which the amount of pollutant is measured it may be annual it may be for 24 hours maybe for 8 hours or for 1 hour as well so for 20 uh, for annual uh, measurements we take minimum of 104 measurements in an year also they are taken twice in a week so this we need to take care of secondly for 
24 hourly, 8 hourly or for 1 hourly, we have uh, the amount the standard that is given should be complied for minimum of 98% time in an year. Now there are uh, 12 guesses as I have told you we are taking uh, here three guesses we will take one by one and also you need to see the unit in which it is measured. So almost all of them are in microgram per meter cube. Some of them are different I will tell you about them. So firstly the sulfur dioxide for annual and for residential uh, and other areas it is 50 that is 50 microgram per meter cube. Then uh, for ecologically sensitive areas it is 20 and for 24 hours it is same in both that is 80. Nitrogen dioxide is 40 for industrial, residential and rural areas and 80 for 24 hourly. So here you can see for sulfur dioxide and for nitrogen dioxide this uh, these are the same that is 80 um, for 24 hourly the standards are same. There is a difference of like 10 and here also 10 is increased so there is a difference of that you need to remember all of these units and all of these standards because there can be uh, these can be asked in any form and uh, they can be asked like about any of the uh, given gases that we will be talking about so for pm 10 it is uh, 60 for annual for industrial residential and rural areas and also 60 for ecologically sensitive areas 100 is for 24 hours for both next is pm 2.5 you also need to remember all the names of the 12 gases because this question may also be asked so the unit you see here is same for ozone lead as well as for pm 2.5 that is microgram per meter cube for annual and for industrial residential and rural areas it is 40 for 24 hourly it is 60 also it is same for the ecologically sensitive areas now ozone the values are little higher but as you can see here it is measured for 8 hours also for 1 hour so it is not uh, a me annual measurement we just measure it for 8 hours or for 1 hours we take these uh, measurements so it is 100 and 180 then lead the uh, standard is uh, quite low it is a very toxic gas so for annual it is 0 0.5 and for uh, 24 hours it is one only for both the areas now there's uh, carbon monoxide then ammonia and then benzene here you can see there is a difference in the unit that is for carbon monoxide it is measured in uh, milligram per meter cube right and it is also measured for 8 hours and for 1 hour so it is 2 and 4 and then for annual ammonia the unit is same that is microgram per meter cube is uh, for annual it is 100 and for 24 hours it is 400 for benzene the measurement is taken only annually so it is 5 and 5 for both the areas these things you need to keep in mind that which are those that are only uh, the measurement is only taken annually or which are those gases which uh, whose measurement is just taken for 8 hours or for 1 hours you just need to remember also the units I have uh, told you the units you need to take care of next uh, are the benzopyrene arsenic and nickel you can see that is uh, the units are changed here for all of these three the units are same and these are taken only annually so for benzopyrene it is one for arsenic it is six and for nickel it is 20 in both the areas so these were the uh, standards that are set as i have told you i'll repeat it again because this is very important firstly the unit in which it is measured secondly the amount of time for which it is measured and also the values also you need to remember for which areas it uh, the standards are set for also the name of all the 12 gases for which the standards are set so I hope you have understood all the concepts related to National Day Ambient Air Quality Index uh, in detail and if not, if you have any doubts, you can always ask in the comment section. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. The handle is facilitate to educate. You can directly type it uh, in the Instagram uh, search box and also you can talk to me there in the DMs directly. Also, I post uh, certain updates and uh, certain quizzes in my on my Instagram handle. So you you can follow me there 
and to subscribe to the channel you can directly click on this um, icon and you can directly be subscribed also hit the bell icon to never miss any update about the informative videos also you can hit the like button if you have uh, liked the video and do share it with your friends whoever are preparing for uh, any of the competitive exams so thank you so much